my most commonly used precision tool is object snaps. What object snaps allow me the, to do is to snap to precise locations on existing geometry. My button for turning object snaps and adjusting them on and off is down here on the drawing aids in the status bar. If I right click on the button, I can see which object snaps are currently turned on and I can also access the settings. In my drafting settings, under object snap, I can turn on or off my running object snaps or I can use F3 on the keyboard. We also have access to object snap tracking. Here are all of my object snaps and these represent the points on geometry that I can snap to. These will automatically be found if they're turned on. Over here I have a select all or a clear all and I can turn them all off. I suggest that you don't use the select all because turning on all of the object snaps will um, present you with a lot of object snap acquisitions as you're trying to draw and it becomes difficult and slows you down. For your running object snaps you should just choose a few that you're going to use a lot and we're going to turn on endpoint to look at that one to begin with. I'm going to click this box so that they become running object snaps. That means that they're always on whenever I'm drawing. And we'll say OK. Down here in my drawing aids I see that object snaps is turned on. Now I don't see any object snaps acquiring any endpoints until I start a command for drawing geometry. Now you'll notice when I approach a line, I'm acquiring an endpoint. Because endpoint's the only object snap I have turned on, that's the only one that I'll see. When that box lights up, if I click the mouse now, I, now, I know that I have precisely snapped to the endpoint of that line. I won't find any endpoints on a circle. I will find endpoints on an arc. And endpoints will light up at each intersection of a polyline, but not for text. I'm going to right click and end that command. Turning running object snaps on and off, they can be toggled using the button down here on the status bar, turning them off or turning them on. With them off, I have another way to access uh, my object snaps and that's using my object snaps override. With no object snaps turned on now, I'm not acquiring any points as I move around the screen. If I wanted to acquire an endpoint, I could hold the shift button down and right click the mouse. Here I'm presented with a whole list of my object snaps and these are for single use. This is my object snap override and I can isolate down to one that I want to use. In this case, we're going to say endpoint, and again, it'll acquire an endpoint, but you notice that it only gets used once, and then it turns off again. So my right-click override will allow me to choose a specific object snap for single use. Next, we're going to look at midpoint. So I'll activate midpoint. Notice that midpoint is a triangle as a symbol. We'll say OK and start a line. And on my line, I acquire a midpoint. On a circle, there are no midpoints to light up. But on an arc, an arc does acquire midpoints. On a polyline, I'll find a midpoint on each of my line segments. And there is no midpoint on text. Next we'll look at our center object snap. Its uh, symbol is a small circle. And I'll start a line. Now I don't have any centers on lines. Center only refers to circular objects and to arcs. But when I approach the edge of a circle, notice that the center will light up. If I click my mouse right now, it will snap to that center snap. On an arc segment, as I approach the arc segment, you can see 
its center point light up. If I click the mouse now, it will acquire that center point. Next we'll look at our node object snap. This looks like a circle with an X through it. And nodes are generally created when I use uh, my draw multiple points. So if I draw multiple points, I can snap to them. Also, uh, nodes would be created if I divided an object. I'm going to type divide from the keyboard. And it wants me to select an object. I'm going to select uh, this line and now the number of segments. Let's say four segments. So now with uh, my node object snap turned on, it acquires each of those points that were used to divide this line. Also, here's some points down here, and it acquires and finds those. Next, we'll look at our quadrant object snap. This uh, has a symbol of a small diamond, and this is going to show up on arcs or circles. My quadrant will light up on each of the major quadrant points of a circle. This would be at 0, 90, 180, and at 270. On an arc segment, my quadrant is going to light up also on any quadrant that's available for that particular arc segment. 